Today's quick tip is all about AirDrop on iOS and Mac. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Doug from Doug Houston YouTube here, and this channel is all about software, tech, tech reviews, how-tos, and more. So stick around. If you like what you see, subscribe down below. And if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. But let's get in to today's quick tip. Hi, here we are. And as you can see, we've got the Mac and the iPhone ready to go for this AirDrop demonstration. First thing we want to do is demonstrate the sending off the picture file from iPhone to Mac. Quite simply, on the iPhone, we're going to do the following. We're going to go into the Photos app, find the photo we want. I want this very last one here. And we want to hit the send. And in a few seconds, the AirDrop has picked up my MacBook Air, which is exactly what we want. We simply tap that. And as you can see, it makes a little circle around the top. And you can see on the Mac there, that it's just received the file. And if we have a look in our download folder, the file that we just sent across is this one here. Simple as. So now what we want to do is show you the other directions. Uh, on the Mac I'm going to go to pictures and I want to send this pit, this file called iPad Man from the my picture folder on my Mac to the iPhone. So I'm going to right click on that and go to share, airdrop and a little airdrop dialog comes up and my phone comes up here I simply a little thumbnail of my picture. I'm going to simply click on that. It says waiting, sending. File is crossed. You can see there's confirmed the receipt of that picture and also open it up in the Photos app on the iPhone. It's as simple as that. Things you need to watch out for. The prerequisites, of course, they bo both devices need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Both devices need to have their Bluetooth Bluetooth turned on, which on a Mac is nearly always is because of possibly a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse. And the iPhone, a lot of people get their Bluetooth on, some people turn it off, but make sure you turn it on before you uh, want to use AirDrop. Other settings you want to look out for on the iPad, if you look at your control panel, there's a little AirDrop section there. You can have it turned off, you can have it set for contacts only, which should usually work for between your own devices. It will have it set for everyone, so you're open to sending and receiving to anybody. The same settings can be found on the Mac. If we go into the AirDrop section of Finder and look at the bottom there, pull down the menu, have for no one, contacts only or everyone. Same settings as on the iPhone. So yeah, simple as that. Well, there you have it, guys. Today's quick tip on AirDrop for iOS and Mac. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, why don't you subscribe to get more videos like it and check the bell so you get notified every single time a video drops. And if you want, want to watch something else right now, why don't you check out some of these videos here. And if you can't find the subscribe button below, why don't you uh, click on this one here and you'll get subscribed right away. Catch you later.